Hi everybody, it's Tanya and welcome to this week's reading vlog. This reading vlog, I think, is going to be very busy because I'm starting a lot of books. I'm starting a lot of budgie reads, but it's just because all of these books are so exciting and I really want to get to all of them now. <laughs> So that's why I'm starting so many by reads. I really want to finish one, so hopefully I will finish this book by the end of this week. This is The Leopard by Giuseppe Tommaso de Lampedusa. I am not enjoying this very much. <laughs> um, not Just not the book for me. Like The first two chapters were really dry and I really do not connect to the characters here. So this book is really hard for me to kind of push through. I have less than a half left so hopefully i will finish wish me luck uh, but yeah not enjoying this very much and i'm looking forward to finishing this i cannot dnf it because i have already read so much <laughs> and it like i just don't want to dnf it and the rest of the books i i i'm sure i will not be able to finish but yeah i will just be reading them so first of all my madame bovary my body read with risha um, I'm enjoying Madame Bovary. We are reading it really slowly. Both of us read it slowly and I'm really liking it. <laughs> like there is no stress, no pressure. You just read one chapter a day and it's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> and chapters here are really short. So yeah, I'm really liking this. Um, also the book itself I'm also really liking. Well, the beginning, but so far, <laughs> so far it has been really good. So, Madame Bovary, and then um, I'm also I also have my old drift, which I will not talk about too much because I think I will make a separate reading vlog for this book, uh, because again it's a book for our BBB book club, and yeah, I just want to document my experience with the BBB book club, and yeah, so I'm almost almost finished it. It, it reads quite easily, like I'm enjoying this. Um, even though there, there are some aspects that um, a lot of people criticize and I agree with that critique, I'm still enjoying this book. <laughs> like, I still like it. So yeah, it's it will not be a problem for me to finish this book. Maybe not this week, but it's like next week then. Um, then also, we are starting North and South. So looking forward to this. We are starting it today. Looking forward to this as well, but of course I, I will be reading it for quite a long time. Then also this morning I started my another budget read, uh, Leto Gospodnie, so God's Summer. It's a Russian classic of the beginning of the 20th century by Ivan Shmilov. I think I need to get used to the writing here because I've read the first small chapter. Um, it's mostly about child's experience living in a gentry Russian family in the beginning of the 20th century and this family is very religious it's the way a child perceives this um, Christian traditions and this Christian life in general his observations what he thinks about certain traditions and um, people around him it's charming, it's really charming, uh, but this writing style is different. I cannot put my finger on it, what is different, but it is different <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so I feel like I need a little bit of time to get used to this, um, but I'm sure I will and I'm sure I will enjoy it because the first chapter was really charming. And of course, uh, continuing my budget for the cancer ward, Piskiran, <laughs> uh, we're also taking it super chill one chapter a day <laughs> and I'm loving it <laughs> and I'm so grateful for this that I don't have to rush through the book. I like reading slowly. <laughs> I understood it as well and I'm super enjoying this book as well. It's like I like the way he writes. I like his language. It is just so easy to read but also so beautiful. It is beautiful. Like he has a very beautiful grasp of the language and I like the way Solzhenitsyn writes. Also his characters are wonderful like re and the whole book is wonderful so I'm really liking it <laughs> and I'm really enjoying the budget. Read. And then the last big boy which I haven't been reading. I've read like this like first 100 pages and then I was and then I was distracted by all of those <laughs> other books and I stopped for a while reading uh, The Count of Monte Cristo need to come back to this. I need to come back to this maybe today. I'll sit and read a good chunk of it because I'm also enjoying it. Like I'm really liking as well. I'm at the very beginning so I cannot say that, like I'm hooked. 
um, but, but it is, it's easy to read and it's quite enjoyable. Yeah, nothing that uh, super excites me, at, not currently at least, first 100 pages, uh, but it's quite enjoyable. So yeah, I just need to push through the first like set up and I think then it will be super gripping uh, because yeah, currently it's Everybody is loving this book, I think. I think everybody on Discord is loving this <laughs> and really like reading it super fast because they just cannot stop reading. <laughs> and I want to get to the point <laughs> when I also cannot stop. <laughs> so yeah, I need to just a little bit push through this book. Yeah, so this is these are my plans for this week. Wish me luck. Especially wish me luck with the leopard because I really have to push myself to read it. Uh, but I really want to finish it. I don't want to DNF it. Wish me luck. Let's get to reading. <laughs> reading because it's actually ready the next week <laughs> last week I'm not very good at like vlogging I forget to film updates I need to kind of get used to this whole procedure and like you know actually film the updates so yeah it's already the next week I decided to just like okay I will just unite everything I mean the, the only clip <laughs> from the previous week with the clips from this week and I will just try to do a better job. So you know all the books like currently on my currently reading list and also the old drift. So also I started The Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Gyasi. This book is long listed for um, Women's Prize for Fiction 2021 and like I said I want to read some books from the long list so this is one of the books that I want to read. I am also body reading it um, with a person from the Discord group. We have already started it and it's so far so good like I'm really enjoying the writing um, and I'm enjoying the characters. Currently I don't really have a lot of thoughts about this. I like the main character. I think she's a very intelligent main character. Basically this is a book about a young girl. She, We follow her in two timelines. In the timeline when she was a child and in the current timeline when she's 20 years, 28 years old and she is a PhD student at a university and she's studying neuroscience uh, so she kind of studies brain um, especially she is interested in the topic of addiction why she is interested in this, in this topic is because she lost her older brother to addiction and the narrative jumps from past to present and we see we see snippets of her previous life and then we see snippets of her current life currently her mom is also suffering from depression like really severe case of depression but the thing with her mom is that she doesn't acknowledge it she says that she's fine she doesn't want to see any doctors she doesn't want to receive any help she just lays in bed she just lays there and like she's constantly tired she's she always says that she is so tired our main protagonist she is kind of alone in the world and her mom feels this way because 
because of everything that she, that happened in her life after moving to America. She lost her son, she lost her husband, and eventually the woman just broke. We see this the life of this family through the eyes of this girl when she was a child and through her current eyes in her current age. Currently it's really interesting, so I'm very curious to continue with this book. Also, I am continue, continuing reading The Old Drift by Namvali Serpel. I'm still enjoying this book. I'm currently at the children's part, which is like I'm enjoying less than the previous two. I, I cannot put my finger on it like what exactly has changed, but something has changed. Also, the thing with this book is, is that she was trying to write different chapters in kind of different genres. So the first parts, they were in liter literary fiction, in magic, a little bit of magic realism, and then this last part, children, is supposed to be sci-fi. I am normally not a sci-fi reader, so maybe that's why I don't enjoy it very much. But also there are some very strange kind of elements, that, like I don't... Um, I don't find them very logical, I don't find them very um, believable, like I just don't buy them. Like for example we have um, a boy, Joseph, he hasn't graduated school I mean, he univer college. He hasn't graduated from the college. He just studied like for two years and then he left. And now somehow, somehow I don't understand how he is working at developing a vaccine from. Um, they call it the virus, but it's AIDS from HIV. So they are like he is participating in developing of the vaccine from HIV, and it's just two of them, he and one doctor who is like, who used to work with his father, like two people, and I just, I don't under, like, I, mm? <laughs> like this is such a strange situation for me, how, no education practically, developing vaccine, and I'm like, who, what? I just don't <laughs> understand <laughs> why, <laughs> how, <laughs> like how is this logical, how is this even, I don't, I don't know, I just don't understand this, like, I don't know, it's like the first element that like really bugs me, in th this novel before was really great and I really enjoyed all the characters, there were some strange elements but I just kind of rolled with them, they didn't bother me too much, and this one I'm just like, huh? <laughs> So I don't know. I mean, it's still interesting. I'm still curious to see what happens um, and how she ends the novel. But, but yeah, a little bit enjoying this last part a little bit less than the previous two parts. The previous two parts were really interesting. Um, even though like a few people mentioned it on Discord that like rushed, it felt rushed too fast. I agree with that. I agree. But I still enjoyed it. And this last part, I'm just, I'm, I'm just not vibing with it <laughs> a little bit. But I, I'm not far into it, so I will continue. I will tell you my final thoughts uh, when I finish the book. To be honest, I haven't been reading The Count of Monte Cristo in like a month already. <laughs> because you see, I have so many books and I think, I think I have beaten more than I can chew. I feel like that's what I have done. It's just too many to read at the same time. I, from the north and south, I've read only like six chapters. But yeah, I'm slowly kind of every day, 20, maybe sometimes 10 pages, I try to read of Don Quixote. Oh, no, Don Quixote, The Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah, it's kind of, I cannot say like it's something super, super gripping at this point, but it's definitely interesting. Like I want to see what will happen next. Uh, so yeah, I think I will just, I, yeah you know, commitment. <laughs> I just need to take this book up and read it. Maybe I need to wake up a little bit earlier and read in the morning. So yeah, all the other books, like I don't have anything new to say about the Cancer Word because I'm reading it still. The Leopard, I just put down and never came back to it. <laughs> I'm kind of currently prioritizing other books that I'm enjoying, that I need to finish. So yeah, this was my update. I will read and then I will 
like when I finish something, I plan to finish, uh, like this week, I plan to finish these two books, like The Transcendent Kingdom and The Old Drift. So once I finish them, I will update you. Hello everybody, today is such a beautiful day, I didn't even expect that it would be so beautiful. Look what I found on myself, it's sakura petal, let's put it back. <laughs> today, like now, is the rush, that was just like peak, peak of sakura blooming i guess but it's already like a little bit over because it's kind of false you will see on the footage like there's so many petals on the floor and it's so beautiful especially if the wind comes and they all start start whirling on the wind it's really beautiful so yeah i'm just walking around and i'm just enjoying the atmosphere just admiring the beauty so i will show you around let's go Again, going out because I'm not productive at home and today I've decided that I need to finish two books I want to finish the transcendent kingdom and I want to finish um, the world drift by Nambalis repel so hopefully it will be successful and yeah maybe I will go and ride train because it's also a very good place to read okay let's go Today also, as you can see, is not sunny. Yesterday was such a sunny, beautiful day. Today is also a beautiful day. Oy. But it's not sunny. <laughs> that puppy. I don't know, he doesn't like me. Anyway, yes, I'm now going to study. I also need to study my Japanese. I need to do a lot of things, read a lot of books. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm going. Everybody, update finished the old drift by Novalis Repel. I will not talk about this book too much in detail because I think I will make like a review of this book or something like that. I am, to be honest, just like in brief, my final thoughts on this book is that I am uh, very disappointed with the ending. I really enjoyed the first two parts, like I have already said. The ending was such a shame because, like, the final part of the book is what you're left with it's like the, the final 
impression and that's why even though I saw you like I really really loved the first two parts I found the characters wonderful I found the stories are interesting I really loved learning about the history and the current situation of the country uh, in this book I thought they were so beautifully interwoven in here with the stories of the characters and yes she doesn't go much in the detail about those parts like she does she, she just mentions them she just mentions um building of the dam she mentions this religious leader of like a cult she just mentions certain like ryan uh, riots and um space exp space exploration she kind of goes goes like she goes a lot about space exploration um, efforts of Zambia. I think because it's it it really makes for a really interesting story, and knowing that it's actually happened, and it's, it's actually a true story, makes it even like more interesting and even bizarre. Uh, so yeah, space exploration. She, it, yeah, she goes a lot about that, <laughs> but it's just because it's really, it's something. It's something. <laughs> I will talk more about it in my review. In part mothers, she talks a lot about the virus, and. Um, like kind of how it appeared, how it spread. And yeah, she doesn't go much into like statistics or anything like that, but it's very easy to, to find this information on the internet. And like, once you find information on the internet, it really adds a lot to the novel. You get to understand the events better. They become like more real, I guess, to you. And then the last part happens, because the last part is about kind of the future. It's interesting because there are like years, like 2016, 2014, and yet they have technology that we don't have yet uh, now. So I think maybe she was writing this novel like before, like long time ago, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> but basically the last part children is supposed to be the future. And that's why it's written in sci-fi style. It just didn't work for me. Like, I couldn't connect to the characters. I didn't care for any of the characters. I didn't find them interesting. I thought a lot, a lot of parts of this last part were not really believable. I didn't buy the characters. Because there are these two boys. I've mentioned already about one of them, like without, with no education, practically no education, just, just two years of medical school, he was creating a vaccine. And then there is this other boy who didn't even go to school, who can barely read. And he develops uh, kind of new technology, of, like these tiny, tiny drones, like super tiny, like mosquito sized drones. And I just, I just don't buy it. I don't understand like how and why, how is it even possible? There's no education alone, no team, no other people alone. And I just don't, yeah, because I don't believe in this, because I don't buy this. I was like, I was rolling my eyes all the time, like, mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sure, that's happened. Yeah, of course, that's possible. Uh, I was just, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't take this last part seriously. And then also they were kind of trying to create revolution. Basically, like what they were doing, they were like drinking, they were drinking, making love, and it, <laughs> in between all of those things, they were apparently creating revolution. <clears throat> like there wasn't really much um, this revolution work shown. It was just kind of them, the three of them, just the three of them getting together, drinking all nights, being drunk all the time, having hangovers in the morning, and apparently during all of the, those drunk talk, they were, yeah, thinking of revolution and, I don't know, just, I couldn't, I just didn't, the last part, I feel like it was written by somebody else. <laughs> it didn't feel the same intelligent writing of the first two parts. It felt something like some, something weird and strange. Um, the last part was such a big let, let down in, because it was the last part, because it was what I was left with. The whole book now feels kind of less impressive. I would be so much happier <clears throat> if she just removed the last part and left the first two. 
maybe make them a little bit longer. Let's just like add a little bit more character development to them. Allow us to spend more time with those characters. I would be perfectly happy. It could be like a really great novel. But yeah, that didn't happen. So I. I the last part was such I'm so disappointed I'm so upset because I was when, when I was reading this book I was so convinced that it was going to be one of my favorite books of the year maybe not favorite but like at least like some honorable mentions you know <laughs> I'm so upset I'm still glad that I read because I've learned a lot I've learned a lot about Zambia about African continent in general about their history about their current situation people there I really I'm glad that I read it. I'm glad that I read a novel from a country I have never read from before. Like, I have extended my horizons. Like, I don't regret reading it. I'm just so upset that, like, this last part ruined it for me. So, yeah, that was my experience with the old drift. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like I said. Not every book is going to be perfect, right? <laughs> Not every book is going to be ideal for you. Um, yeah. Hi everybody, so it's already the next day and I finished The Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Gyasi. I will not talk about this book too much because I'm making a separate video, like a separate reading vlog where I read a few books from women's um, Prize for Fiction 2021, like long list. So I will talk more about this book there. I but just for like completeness of this vlog, you know, to kind of give you to show you that I finished this book and just to give you an idea of it, I will a little bit talk about it here. I've already talked about like kind of brief summary of this book in the previous clip, so I will not talk about that here. My final thought is that I gave it four stars. I five, four? I think four. Yeah, I gave it four stars. It was really, it, it was a very intelligent book, it was super interesting because it kind of connects science and like scientific observation and scientific research because the writer, she has a friend and her friend is a neuroscientist and she studies like all of these like that was described here so she basically wrote her friend's um, experiments and she described her friend's studies so it's like it's actual science in here but like of course simplified <laughs> simplified for us regular people uh, but it was just so fascinating and interesting to read about like all of those experiments that she conducted that she conducts on mice and uh, yeah experiments with addiction and observation on addiction i did wish this book to be longer because there are some parts that we just skip over like certain parts of life of this main character this girl we just skip over them like there's there's no mentioning about them and i would love to see those parts of her life because they're kind of essential in my understanding to understand like kind of to see her development as a person as her personality and they were just not there <laughs> they were just removed um, so yeah, without I, there were some parts that I would like to be extended and given more information. There is also such a thing which kind of she tells you something, but she like doesn't really show you that, um, which I also not like a big uh, fan of. But it wasn't like too much. It wasn't too often. Um, 
but yeah there were like certain sentences that like i just i didn't understand where they came from because i didn't see what was happening it just wasn't shown to me and then there comes a sentence and i was like where does this come from <laughs> like where is this from <laughs> because i haven't seen it in the book oh um, yeah there was like certain moments of like surprise for me uh, not like in the sense that something interesting but in the sense that like i, I haven't seen that and i don't understand like where are you getting this from uh yeah but overall the book is really interesting it's such an interesting account of a family struggle of an immigrant family struggle and colored family like not white family and how they're accepted by society how they're perceived by society how they are pressuring but how they're being pressured by it and struggles that they face how they cope or not cope with this really interesting i would highly suggest using this book it's very short so it's super easy to read also chapters are very short chapters are super short and you just get through them just like, like that it's very easy to read um, so yeah this was overall a very interesting and pleasant experience i am so curious now to read her home going because the girl with whom i was reading this book she is a big fan of home going she just loves this book and i think that if this was really good i i guess home going must be even even better uh, so yeah I'm, i will read home going eventually i don't know when eventually uh, but yeah four stars good read so yeah i will talk a little bit more about this book in my vlog where i read um, books from the longest for women's prize for fiction this i will finish here with all my other books i'm still continuing with the cancer ward i'm still like very slowly super slowly super chill uh, i kind of read slowly my Bovary. Uh, what else what else have you been reading that's it these two books, a little bit of The Count of Monte Cristo, a little bit of Madame Bovary and Cancer Ward. Mm -hmm. All the other books I haven't even touched, to be honest. Because, like I said, I think I, I have beaten more than I can chew. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. You live and you learn. I'm also trying to learn Japanese and I work and... Yes, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can do it. <laughs> So yeah, I will end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a very good day. I hope you are reading good books and you are enjoying your books. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to join the book club, the link to the book club is always down below in the description box. We are currently reading The Count of Monte Cristo, which a lot of people have already finished. <laughs> um, but you see, I am terribly behind. So if you want to join, we will be behind together. <laughs> So, Count the Monte Cristo, and we have also started reading. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we have started reading the Iliad. I have only read the first chapter so far, but it was really interesting and so readable. It was so readable. I was surprised. I was, I was surprised honestly. I didn't expect it to be so readable. Uh, so yeah, the Iliad, the first chapter is great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am continuing with that. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, have a very good day, and I will see you soon in my next vlog if I manage, <laughs> if I manage uh, to stay on track with filming my updates. So yeah, have a good day, <laughs> thank you for watching.